hello guys welcome back to the channel so we have this uh, news so Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, on his new passion project and why he won't be retiring anything soon is exclusive news the action legend sits down with director James Callen Bressac to discuss darkness of man which they promise will show a side of the muscle from Brussels that the world hasn't seen before so hopeful the action heroes merrily kicking the asses of bad guys in the late 80s and early 90s in terms of actual fighting prowess few came close to Jean-Claude Van Damme a karate and kickboxing champion with heart his phenomenal martial arts skills including a particularly impressive spin kick the helicopter kick into for a while back to back box office goal first propel into the action arena thanks to canon films 1988 low budget smosh, uh, smash blood sport van damme quickly cemented his iconic status as the muscle from brussels thanks to 1989 iconic kickboxer then star as warring twins in 1991 double impact began a long run on screen failed with Dolph Lundgren Roland Emmerich's sci-fi 1992 hit Universal Soldier led John Woo's US debut at Target in 1993 and Don Giles Barrett in 1994 Street Fighter video game adaption like many ultra rip stars of the time however the hits eventually dry up and so began <coughs> a period of mostly straight to DVD releases but out of nowhere Van Damme suddenly saw another side to itself in 2008, gritty, self-reflected and personal JCVD then began mixing things up, threading the comedies, voicing kids animation, Kung Fu Panda and most recently Minions, The Rise of Group, enjoying its formal cohorts for the expendables, all the while keeping the action good. Now at the age of 62, Jungle Van Damme is said to keep the action going again in Darkness of Man. His latest project being introduced at the American film market by VMI Worldwide. From director James Callum Bressac, a prolific young filmmaker whose list of action films include Beyond the Low, starring Steven Seagal, The Fortress, starring Bruce Willis, and Hot Seat, starring Mel Gibson. And based on an original story, he devised with Van Damme the film to be set and shot in Los Angeles. Looks pro uh, poised to show yet another side to the star. Speaking to the Hollywood Reporter from Thailand, where he owns a Muay Thai kickboxing ring via Zoom, Van Damme, alongside his director Bressac, described the brutal nature of the violence in Darkness of Man. He's going to get an absolute kicking, apparently. Say that Spy Report, his final action film, might be some way of explaining why he's looking forward to shooting in Los Angeles. Clue is it is his dog. And reveals why you shouldn't be alarmed if you see him stretching in an elevator. So there is also the interview. How does a darkness of man differ from your other film? Jean-Claude Van Damme. He said, we have actually been working on the ideas for this for almost two years and it feels much different and darker. In the film I've got to fight out of passion, I've got to fight out of friendship and I'm also out of shape. My character has been drinking, he's got a problem, he's lost somebody, he's in a very dark place. My character is going to be more honest than me in real life. And the director, James Callum Brissac. This is like a neo-noir film in many respects. His character has witnessed the murder of a person he loved and is basically taking care of their child. He ends up spiraling out of control and instead of being this Polish martial artist, becomes some fighting out of necessity, doing everything he can to keep this kid alive. You are going to see Jean-Claude Van Damme take real damage in this movie. And you are going to see a side of Jean-Claude Van Damme that I don't think we've seen before. It's a very less Polish version of him. Jean-Claude, I had to ask this question, but how much of your own stunts can you still do? Can you still do the, the legendary spin kick and the splits? Van Damme, yeah, I'm lucky. I think it's my DNA, but I'm stretching three times a week. The most important thing in life 
is to stretch because muscle can grow and disappear depending on the consistency of your routine. Stretching is to be consistent and not even in a gym. You can do it in every, anywhere in the right stretchy way. Our toes is a little more strange to look at. In Hong Kong I live on the 75 floor and it takes about a minute to get up there. So in the elevator I squat down and slowly come back to my maximum while stretching over the course of the minute. Van Damme squats and stretch to show the exercise. I'm stretching all the time, like a cat. So right now I'm doing very well. I'm also taking a lot of good products, dried fruits and ribose. I'm like a pharmacy. Breast suck. What's really great is that JC is planning on doing most of his own towns and fights. So to keep the visceral and passionate nature of them, we can do a lot of the stuff in the real time. Van Damme, I'm doing all except catching on fire and jumping from a building because the insurance will not allow that. You describe this movie as being like Jean-Claude as you've never seen him before. I feel like this phrase has been used a lot previously. Jean-Claude Van Damme was obviously like we never seen him before. Is this, is it the action style that marks, uh, that makes darkness of man unique? Bressac, of course. There's a lot of action in this movie, but this is really focused on a human level and wrote in emotion. And when I say it's going to be a neo-noir, it's very, very pulpy. This is a very dramatic role for him. And a lot of the more dramatic roles is done like 2018, The Bouncer and JCVD were in the French language. So we are looking at doing this in English. It's really is going to be a very different version of JC than you see before. Van Damme and the fighting is going to be brutal. Breast up. What also very exciting is that we are shooting in LA, which has a very distinct look. It's great to bring JC back to where his roots are. And he hasn't done a film in Los Angeles in a very long time. Van Damme, yeah, I'm going to be close to my family and close to my so many dogs. Van Damme introduces pet dog on screen. It's so nice to be at your own house. I've been living in hotels for 20 years. How did the two of you start working together? Van Damme, we meet in a sauna. Bressac, he did a spinny kick. No, actually, I wrote him some fan mail and his team got back to me. This was about four years ago and I just said I'm a huge fan and would love to work with JC and that's how it all began. I actually watched kickboxing in preparation for this interview. It still odds up. Van Damme, you know, a lot of people tell me that those movies haven't aged. Maybe I know why. It's about sincerity. If you are sincere in your role and believe in your part, that plus all the martial arts helps the audience in your the poor background. JC, you work with a lot of filmmakers. What do you look for your for uh, in a um, in your director? Van Damme. When you look at UFC Ultimate Fighting Championship, most of the time the fighter want to win for his trainer, who has dedicated months. When you do a movie with a with a director, you go to war, a healthy artistic war. You try to make them look good. So for me, if my director wins. An award, I'm so happy. It's me winning an award, 1000%. What do you think of the younger generation of action stars? Is there a worthy successor? Van Damme, this is very important. I'm actually quite shy. I'm not sure about the term legend. I'm just a normal guy. But the media can elevate you to a position where you look like a legend. So, I'm trying to be as close to possible to the world legend. But regarding the younger generation, I was actually having a dinner with Bolo Jung from Enter the Dragon and Bloodsport and the TV, uh, TV crew show up and ask, who's next after Van Damme? And he say, he didn't know, but one guy is out there, he's going to pop out soon, it's a cycle. I don't want, and I don't know where he is.
but I'm telling you, he exists somewhere, and we are going to try to kill him. But this is a teasing. You branch out away from poor action and into comedy, gritty and drama, even kids' animation. Is action your comfort zone, or are you happy to try other joints? Van Damme. The first thing for me is the director. I need to meet the director and for, and for them to tell my, uh, the story themselves. They need to put me in a headlock and walk around in the block. A big block, three times, see? So that's when the woman left you and that's where you lose total control. And why? So I get the full story. I need to hear the truth, their imagination and know that we like each other. Hitler, this year, is, it was announced you were going to start a film called What's My Name, which was being described as your final action film. Is that echo the rumor that I listen? Is that project moving forward? Will it be your final action film? Van Damme. I want to make one more big martial arts film, but I guess it's not the time right now. Before I believe in destiny, but now I believe in synchronicity. So if something doesn't go my way, that is not supposed to go my way. So what's my name may happen, may not happen. And I have another project that's a good, but that's for later right now. I'm so into darkness of man, which was always working in parallel. Why do you think so many action stars from 80 and 90 are still working today? Van Damme, I know an actor who did so many movies, he's in his 70s, and he's still making movies, but he's still professional and still wants to work and work. There's nothing wrong with that. It's Sylvester Stallone that told me the expendable that he'd like to die on set. You have not uh, got plans to do that, have you? Van Damme, when people ask me my age, I say I'm eternal. So that's a very nice interview. So this happens at time in our channel. There is uh, something new because uh, it's important what we say. This our uh, so our idol, Kumuka. We are all fan of these people. Thank you so much for watching. See you next video.